Hello again, this is Brent, and today we're going to take a look at the storage and contracts section of the Trimble Egg software. The storage section allows you to record transactions related to on-farm storage locations. The contracts section allows you to manage production contracts and can directly tie into the storage transactions. So let's not waste any time and jump right in. We're going to start off with the storage section of the site. From the main login screen, click Storage on the left-hand panel. The first screen that populates from the storage section is the bin profiler. All the transactions are completed within the bins that are set up on this page. In the center, you'll notice a summary table showing each existing bin. There are a few options that can help you filter this table. First, the drop-down arrow to the right of the header can help you sort the table based on ascending or descending order. Or, you can use the filter option to get much more specific. For example, if I wanted to see only the bins with the word ABC in the description, I would click the filter option, choose Contains, enter ABC in the text box, and click Filter. Click Clear to reset the table. Second, you can also control what columns are visible in the table by going to the Columns menu and checking off the desired headers. And finally, you can click and drag any header to the top left corner of the table to resort the table based on that column. Click the X to clear any filter. To add a new bin to the table, start by clicking Manage, Add New Bin. Most of the data fields are optional, but the three that are required are bin code, bin name, and total capacity. Once you've entered the desired information, click Save to create your bin. Your new bin will now show up in the table. On the right side of the table, you'll notice four icons that will help you manage that bin. The blue arrow. This is the bin reset button. Sometimes at the end of the season, you may end up with small remainders in the bin, even after all product has physically left, due to factors like shrinkage. Clicking this button will reset your bin to zero. The add symbol. This is used when you would like to add crops to the bin. Once opened, the top five items are required. First, the origin of the product. This could be from any crop zone, from another bin, or from other, which allows you to manually enter where the crop came from. The destination of the product which would be this or any other bin in your list. The date the product was put in the bin, the gross quantity, and the crop type, which will autofill if selecting from a crop zone. All other data fields are optional. Once finished, click Submit to save the transaction. The Remove symbol, which is used when moving product out of a bin. Majority of the data fields are the same, with the exception of a few. The origins must now be from a bin in the list. The destination can now be a bin, other, or a contract, which we will get into in just a bit. And there is also the addition of a net quantity option. Again, once finished, click Submit to save the transaction in the Transaction Manager. Here is where you can review and edit all transactions associated with a specific bin, along with being able to view the remaining balance. In the top right corner, you can use the drop-down to see different views of the list. The Print button will allow you to print a copy of the transaction list. You can filter the list with most of the same actions as you used on the main bin profiler page. If you click the three dots on the right hand side, you can edit the transaction, 
view a report of the transaction or delete the transaction. We are now going to move over to the BIN Transactions tab. This tab is a running list of all transactions in and out of all BINs in your BIN Profiler. The filter options are mostly the same as they were on the BIN Profiler, with the exception of some additional column options, as well as a date filter at the top. The three dots on the right hand side of the transaction perform identical actions as you saw in the Transaction Manager from the BIN Profiler. The checkboxes on the left side of the table are to be used in conjunction with the Manage dropdown. The top option is to import from CSV. The template for the CSV file would look something like this. The Add Harvest Data button. By checking off a transaction and clicking this button, the software will add the transaction entries to the Harvest Summary page. Update Origins allows you to bulk update the origin of the selected data. Update Destination allows you to update the destination of the selected data. And you can also delete the transactions or reset the table view. Now that we know more about the bin section, let's jump over to the contracts. The contract section of your Farmer Pro account should be turned on by default when your account is set up. However, if you cannot seem to locate the contract section, please go to Licenses, then the Marketplace tab, and review the Commodities and Contracts section. If it says Add, then click on the button to turn on that feature. Now, to access the contracts page, start from the left-hand panel again and click on contracts. The first window that appears will be a summary of all the contracts on your account. The table filtering can be controlled in a very similar way as they were in the storage section, with the addition of some drop-down menus in the top search section. To create a new contract, click on Manage and Add Contract. In the Contract Properties, start with filling in the basic information of the contract on the left-hand panel. You can save the contract right after this or continue to enter additional details into the tabs on the right-hand side. Starting with the Product tab, this is for information specific to the desired commodity the contract is for. The Sales tab identifies the contract's sales details, such as quantity of the contract, pricing, and discounts. The Fields tab is where you can allocate crop zones to the contract. Now please note that you must have a crop type identified in the Product tab before adding fields. The Delivery tab. This is where you can enter delivery details and terms. The Transactions tab, and this section provides details on all the transactions from the storage section to this contract. And the other section leaves a space for some additional notes. That wraps up the Storage and Contracts sections of the Trimble Egg software. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.